Meanwhile, the Ijo national leader, Edwin Clark, says the federal government has not been fair to the Ijo nation. He made the statement when Governor Sereke Dixon led a high-powered delegation of Ijo elders and government officials to the country home of the elder statesman in Kiagbodo Community, Delta State. TVC's Ovietemi George has details. The governor of the homogeneous Izon speaking state of Bayelsa was received by elder statesman Edwin Clark in Kiagbodo. The high powered delegation of Ijo elders and government officials listened as Clark commended Governor Dixon for making appreciable impact in the education, health, and other sectors of the state. He encouraged the Bayelsa governor to remain dogged in promoting the Ijo cause of peace building and unity. This new year will be a good year for Ijo people. Amen. This new year will touch the heart of the federal government that the Ijo people have been neglected for too long. Something has to be done for them. God will give you strength. Amen. Will give you good health. Amen. Will give you courage. Amen. Wisdom. Amen. To govern the people of Bayasa State. To govern each your people at large. Amen. Governor Syriaka Dixon highlighted the importance of unity in actualizing the Ijo struggle. Unity at all levels. Unity in the IYC. We want to see greater unity and greater display of dedication and selflessness in the cause of service to our people. But the call for support as we move forward together to reposition the joint nation for the challenges and struggles ahead. We will try as much as possible, in spite of constraints, to expand the frontiers of stability, development and prosperity for all our people. We have not been able to assess our potentials, including our resources. And so, as a job people, we need to come together in the pursuit of our dreams, aspirations, goals and objectives. <laughs> Of Yetime George, TVC News, Kiagbodo, Delta State.